Yes, um, natural selection is cruel, and Darwin recognised this in, in one. I mean, he Darwin, for example, said something like, um, uh, "It's impossible to believe that a benevolent deity would would have created the ichneumonidae. These are these are wasps which um, lay their eggs in um, caterpillars or similar prey, and then the eggs hatch out, and then the larvae eat their way through the live creature." And Darwin saw this as excessively cruel. On the other hand, Darwin also, when talking about um, the suffering of prey animals when they're, they're caught by a predator, by a lion or something, that he said something like, the death is swift and merciful. So Darwin clearly worried about it. Um, there's absolutely no reason why natural selection should not be cruel. Uh, natural selection doesn't care whether animals suffer distress. All it cares about is survival. All it cares about is whether the predator gets a good meal. And if the predator eats the prey alive, and um, then that, that, although that's terribly cruel and terribly painful for the prey, um, there's no reason why natural selection should penalize it. You could go even further perhaps and say that natural selection is almost bound to be painful and cruel because if it wasn't, if there was some um, mercy, some, some lack of suffering, then somebody isn't doing their level best to survive in the most economical way possible. So I think, I think natural selection is almost inevitably going to be cruel.